What's up, folks? Welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Christian Clay. This is Corey. He is actually, go ahead and tell him your your real name, Wesley Chapel King. Wesley Chapel King. That's right. Why are, you, King. why are you the king of Wesley Chapel? <laughs> I know everything about Wesley Chapel. Exactly it's my right. city. It is his city. I claim it. Uh, this is FLA Tours. Um, this is exactly what this channel is about. We're literally driving you through a community today and we want you to get the real visual of what it looks like, the good, the bad, the ugly, along with our stories and our experience that we do have. Um, before we get started, two things I'm going to leave down below for you, a way you can contact, email, phone number, reach out, does it, you know, whatever's easiest for you. Second is the main YouTube channel where we show you different cities and that one is a little more kind of put together. This is totally unscripted right here. Totally unscripted. We want to give you the real. What do we have going on today, Corey? Where are we at? All right, so we're up in uh, the Murata community of Wesley Chapel. Right now we're in the Murata Market, which is, I believe, a really cool area that they kind of put across the street from Murata. It's got a uh, Publix here. There's a hibachi place. I'll keep going, you're good. Dental place, haircut place, UPS store, Hungry Greek. So there's a lot of stuff to... Um, that you're gonna use on a daily basis right here across the street that's just part of the Murata community. There's a ton of commercial stuff which we just learned is gonna be going in this area and down the street as well. So there'll be a lot more shopping that's gonna be convenient to you right next to the community. Oh yeah, At, you hospital, you already brought that up? Oh yeah, and then the Advent Health will be going right across the street here as well. And so this is the Murata kind of, this is what's becoming the town center, I would yes, say, right? Like correct. everybody comes here for your groceries. You're talking about the dental office, obviously the hospital, and then more retail space. What you're looking at in front of us, opportunity. Yep. So if you're looking to start a business here, which we have a client already, already, already looking for a commercial space over here. That's right. <laughs> that's right. But great opportunity for you as this place is going to continue to flourish. Um, it just So we're not even in Wesley Chapel right now. Like, what's the deal with it's, that? So it's across the street. From Wesley Chapel, it's considered San Antonio, so pretty much as close as you can get to Wesley Chapel, just with a different name. Yeah, and you pretty, you're going to share most of the Wesley Chapel amenities. Correct. We're going to drive you through Morada. We're going to take you to the Lagoon. We're going to DR. We're going to talk a little bit about the product that they have and a phase or two that they're just opening up. Some inside right. information. We got you on that. But as he was saying. Most of the shopping that you're going to be doing, most of the amenities that you're going to be using, if it's not the lagoon, which is right in your backyard, then you're going to be sharing Wesley Chapel's kind of That's shopping correct. and amenities yep. and stuff like that. So, uh, the difference between Epperson and Murata? Main difference, I would say, is the lagoon and the lagoon size. Uh, what we've kind of learned today is that they've made improvements to this lagoon since the opening of the Epperson Lagoon a few years ago. Uh, we already know it's almost double in size. It's over 15 acres. So check out these. That, I, and we've the done fountains, these tours sir. already, but the entrance, the entryway to these communities, I mean, you're just like, <laughs> it's very you can't grand, see the left it? side, but there's like big ones here on the left side. Um, but I love the entryways to these communities. But the lagoon's way bigger, way bigger, yeah, way bigger. It's 2.0. Yep. Right. How, how big though? How big? How big? How would you compare it like to the other lagoons yeah, in the nation? So it's going to be the largest one in the nation. <laughs> so the Epperson Lagoon is seven and a half acres. This one's going to be 15. Yeah. So they're, they've, uh, like I said, they did the improvements on the inside. They've upgraded the bar a little bit. They've upgraded the slides. They're going to have a ton of food trucks in here with different varieties of food, desserts, ice cream, different stuff. So the whole family can come here and you have multiple kids. They can have different things if they like to all in the same area. Let's take them in. Let's take them to the lagoon. We before should. We, before we talk about boring real estate, let's show them... Uh, cool lagoon which we're not going to pop the camera off the hood and take you take you in there the one beauty about this channel is you get to see how i drive so i'm guiding traffic yeah maybe here. it'll be me next time <laughs> we'll see how it goes all righty so this is kind of what the you know entryway to the lagoon is this yep. is where everybody's gonna pretty much be at yes right? and what's really nice about the lagoon again is that it is part of your resident fee that you'll pay within the marotta community they do let the general public in but they only let a certain amount so it's not going to be overcrowded by any means with everyone in the city coming here. Once the public tickets sell out, they close them off for the day, and it's only residents only. I like that idea because yes. most of the people moving here, they're moving here for the lagoon. And if you just have unlimited amounts of public that are allowed to come in, it's like, ah, I paid for this and everybody's crowded, utilizing yes. it. Yep. One thing that I did like too as well, they have a residents only section. They do. They do have a residents only section. And they have on the calendar too with their website, they'll have resident events almost every single night of the whole entire month where they'll have a jazz night, a movie night, 
Uh, they'll have a food truck night, and they'll do just different events for only residents almost every day of the week. Cigar night for me. Yes. Cigar night. I think that's one of them. Actually, I saw it on there. Yeah. So this is. Uh, I, I obviously like it, they haven't fully opened yet. They're going to be doing a ribbon cutting kind of soon. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's a. Uh, the first weekend of June. Yeah, first weekend of June. So you can always like shoot us a text or an email if you want, uh, like the up to date information. Stuff changes all the time, especially like as we're going to talk about like real estate, uh, because this guy he does a lot of business out here, yeah. right? And it's mainly new construction out here. So incentives are going to change reg. Like when I say regularly, sometimes from day to day, they day change, to day. right? Yes. That's so right. I, I always hate like shouting out numbers. Yeah. Sometimes we do, but don't don't hold us to it like you got to just shoot us a simple text message and right. we can get you the up-to-date information that's right sometimes even the information on the website isn't updated before they make a change and people will see price points or incentives online that have changed but that website has been updated so yeah they do change day to day week to week especially prices in a market like wesley chapel that is very demanding right now 100 percent. so yeah just checking in with us give us a simple call or text we have the relationships with those agents so we can just get a quick answer on what's happening that day yeah yeah and not to dwell or, or blab too much into our horns and stuff but like he said a lot of the relationships that we have the, with these builders they'll hit us up first because they know we have buyers on hand so yep. if a deal falls through which like when i talk about wesley chapel king like this guy's like the king of mm -hmm. finding deals that fall through that's right it's because the agents hit him up automatically like yep. hey we have one that's coming back to the market next week it won't right. even hit the market yet and he's all over it. Yeah. As you can see, I probably shouldn't talk. So let me just drive and let him talk because I just took us. That's to a good idea. Nothing. So yeah, you're right about that. So the agents over the past couple weeks, I've seen. Um, unfortunately, sometimes deals do fall through for people, whether it's with financing or a job situation, whatever the case may be. The agents need to get that home off the market as quickly as they can. Oftentimes, they will text Christian or I to see if we have buyers that are ready. And I've been getting a lot of them lately where, where we're finding good deals. And I think that's the best part about having those relationships is that we're finding deals for our buyers, not just a great home or a great community. We're finding good price points and good interest rates on these deals that the agents are giving to us. Last little point, and then I'm done. I'm done with all of this too. I'll just point. Last you little point, you'll make it right yeah, yeah. here. Um, how much does it cost them to have an agent? To have an agent? Yeah, how much does it cost them out of their pockets, the buyers? That's the hardest Take part. Take it easy on them too. I know, I don't, I don't so want to... I know this is usually the most difficult part because I don't want them, you know, deter them from using us. Give them a discount. Well, if I if I don't give you the discount, it's going to be absolutely free. Woo we free. The best free. part about using a realtor to find a new construction home is that the seller is going to pay for the realtor when the home closes. Yeah. So it's going to be free of charge to you. We're just a service here to help you find a new home in a community that we know very well and we know you're going to love. Yeah, why not, and why not, right? Yeah, why so not? why not use a realtor if you don't even have to pay for them? We're just here to help you, aid you, and then assist you along with the process. So we're heading to DR Horton's kind of new, one of their phases that they're going to be opening up. So yep. we're gonna take you back there right now. They do have one lot available. Here's a turtle. Check this out, guys. This is why we do these driving tours for you. <laughs> Can you see that turtle right there? I don't know if they can see it. <laughs> Let's see if we can see this turtle. Let's back up a little bit. See that turtle right there, guys? Welcome to Florida. New Florida lifestyle. Just a regular day. Just turtle. Oh shoot! Oh, don't go on the road. <laughs> don't go on the road. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You can't like you can't make a decision for a turtle, but hey. Um, but so they're going to be opening this phase. They have a couple of lots right now that are available, but they're going to start releasing these lots. So um, the reason why I'm out here today uh, with Corey is obviously he has people that he's working with, but there's a couple of particular lots that we want to show to our clients. So what we do in that sense is we do a private video. We throw the drone in the air. We give you like show you the, the visual of the area. Right. So that's one of the perks of, of working with us that you get. Right? We'll take you back in here. What are some other builders that we have? We've worked with all of them, but what, yeah. what are some other builders that people might consider here? Well, if you're one? looking in Murata, you're going to have Miranda Homes. You have DR Horton, who we're working with right now. You have Biscayne Homes, Homes by West Bay, and Lennar Homes. Yep. So having all those builders in Murata, I think is awesome because there is a home for everybody. Living in a beautiful community, when you drive in that entrance, the first thing you think is probably... How much are these homes? Mm -hmm. Million dollar homes. Mm -hmm. They have townhomes in here, villas, entry level builders, semi custom builders, and fully custom builders. Mm -hmm. 
So you can find homes for everybody in this community. You starting in the three low three hundreds, and then you can go all the way up to a million plus. Yeah, yeah. Which the cool part about this phase that we're taking you into yes. is you're, you're you're kind of pushed into this corner of the community. But he was talking about uh, Biscayne, Biscayne. Home. Yep, yeah. Biscayne Homes, a luxury builder, and then Homes by West Bay is on homes. the other side. Yeah, yeah. Let me just really quickly, guys. Really quickly. Let me just, just even look at the model home. Right? Yeah. It's gorgeous. Yeah, yeah. So this section is cool because you're in the kind of the cool section. You're, I would call you're it. You're in the, the luxe section. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Whereas DR Horton Higher. is not a luxury product. Obviously, Biscayne is. And Homes by West Bay certainly is. I really love their product. We'll swing you around yeah, here. You turn it and then um, then you have your DR product, which is more of an entry-level builder, but they do have packages that they've been recently putting together right. that are like kind of tiered up. From, exactly. From so they have different levels at DR Horton. They have like the Express Elite. They have the Modern Series. They have a Preferred Series. They have an Emerald Series. So what they're offering here in Murata is going to be the it's preferred it. series and that's going to have a couple more of the upgraded finishes like the stone on the exterior you're going to get the nice 18 by 18 tiles uh quartz or granite throughout the home so even though they're not the fully custom or luxury builder yeah. you're still getting great upgrades with this dr horton series that they're offering in Murata. exactly and so like we do a lot of work with dr horton um in the orlando side of things mm -hmm. we're like a sale away from being what they call like VIP yeah. agents for them where we get these crazy incentives. Tampa side, we're still working our way up there, but traditionally they, they don't offer those on most of their communities, those types of packages that we're talking about that right. they have here. Right. So they're really, they're, they're elevating their game. So that's right. All right. So that's enough about the, so you're going to be in this awesome section, which you just saw those homes, right? Are going to be very uh, upscale, big, yep. large homes. And so we're going to take you to this DR area and show you uh, where you could potentially be. Yeah. Comment down below where you guys are from. Where are you from? Where are you watching from? Are you in Florida? Are you in the US? Because you know we get people from all over, but yeah, comment that down below. Also, also if there's another area, if there's a builder uh, that you're considering or you wanna see an area, you can obviously reach out first. Like to have a private link is gonna be a little better than these general ones, but comment down below and we'll definitely be, uh, be able to get to one. I'm excited, man. And we do have a little bit of access to this road because this section that they're going to be selling soon is ready to go. The bridge isn't complete. Oh, yeah, that's right. So once that bridge is complete, they'll be selling that whole phase over there, and they'll probably be selling them pretty quickly. Uh, but we do have a little bit of access on the backside over here. Hey, so do you think that bridge is going to put you closer to the lagoon maybe like is it going to be like a because what yes. we're doing is we're kind of going outside the community and coming back in but this right. bridge will be a better extender maybe right we're going all around the exterior part of the community on the outside road and then we'll be going in here but the bridge will be cutting right through the community don't enter the way that we enter guys <laughs> and don't tell anybody we're entering the way we're entering never happened but we did get the we got a thumbs up to do so yeah we did here's a cool See little a roundabout line schools in wesley chapel what uh, in in this general area yeah what do we have uh yeah. close so, by luckily wesley chapel has some of the best uh schools in the area lots of b and a rated schools uh the high schools wiregrass ranch we have wesley chapel high school kirkland ranch innovation which just opened that's a like new that school that's, that's cool. a really nice school it looks like a spaceship it's pretty cool yeah it's it's a it's a the, the <laughs> building is like the architectural yes. build on this building is crazy yeah. you don't think it's a school until you're like that's a school yeah exactly and then there's a uh, cypress ranch also all b and a rated schools and they're actually just getting better by you know the growth of the area so then um san antonio is going to be a pasco school district which kind of pasco high school in uh, pasco middle school but uh, luckily, there is some choice schooling in Wesley Chapel. So there are open enrollment periods where you are able to sign up for certain schools if you are committed to getting your kid, commuting your kid back and forth without, you know, public transportation. I think that, I think it all it should be like that, right? Like I think if you want to live yeah. in an area and you're okay with taking your right. kids to a school that's a little like across the right. street where the school district's a little exactly. different, then I think you should be. Yep. These that. schools will look into the applications into what programs they want to be in, what year they're coming in, what their grades are like, and they kind of choose the kids that will fit the school the best. So if your kid's looking for a certain program that a school offers, they can apply to get to that school. All right, here we are. This is definitely a phase that they're going to be opening up very soon with DR. They're going to have villas 
which we don't see often with them. A villa is pretty much like, the best way for me to describe a villa is like a townhome duplex. Yes. But it's not a duplex. When people hear that, they're like, I don't want a duplex. Well, these it's are like, like side by nice. side connected home, right? Yeah. It's like two homes connected together. Very nice, but townhome feeling. Yep. So they have those, they have 40 foot products, right? And they have 50 and 60 foot That's products. That's correct. Right? Yeah. And the yep. 60 foot products are, we're talking about the width of the lots. Yep. We're going to turn down here really quickly for reasons that we're not going to speak about. We'll give a little wink to the camera here. Um, but the 60 foot product, we're talking about the width of the lot. And on the 60 foot products, you're going to have your three car garage homes yep. with DR. I was told that all of their 60 foot products are going to have three car. I know that they can do it, but they're going to make sure that they do it with that. And then 50 and then 40 is going to just going to get slimmer. And Correct. there's particular models and series that they can put on, on their lots, right? Yeah. Wink, wink. We're here at the quarter. Rustic and Rise. Yeah. So um, the bridge, we're going to put the drone in the air. We'll show you what the bridge looks like. That's going to connect you uh, to give you easier access. You don't have to exit the community like we just did. And you can just go right over to the lagoon. Yeah. So you'll be able to ride your golf cart right through the community, right to the lagoon without having to leave. What are some other cool things that are going on in Wesley Chapel? Like when, when people think of Wesley Chapel, they think of, uh, I want to go to Tampa. Right? They do. What's cool they about do. Wesley? And that's how Wesley Chapel has been for the past, I would say, 10 years. It's been, you know, a nice place to live, more rural, more family oriented, quiet. But I think a lot of people will notice the great location, the great schools. And now that I think commercial places have started building here with all the growth coming, one thing I did learn is that if you see a Starbucks being built, that's a good place to purchase a home. Publix Starbucks and Starbucks. Publix and Starbucks. Publix puts in over $100 million a year into their marketing, and they research places that are going to have growth, higher median incomes, and so if you're going to look to buy a home, you can just follow the marketing team that's doing probably the best right now. So there's two Publixes out here now, right? Well, there's one going in right there's here by one, Epperson. So one's going to be right outside the Epperson Lagoon. They just built this one Murata Market, and they're pretty much popping up on every other corner in in Florida. So you'll see Publix everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. Which, and that's where we do our grocery shopping yep, here. Exactly. Do you know where Publix was origin, originated? I do not. You, know, you, know, you don't know? I don't. Is it's it Florida? Winter Haven, man. No The very way. first Publix is downtown. That's why, that's why the, the center's out there? The that's big, why the center's in Lakeland. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that yeah. makes sense. George Jenkins, they got all that pretty much everywhere. So. <laughs> As you can funny. see, we're, we're geeks when it comes to like stuff that's happening. <laughs> right. So yeah, Wesley Chapel has a ton going on. There's tons Talk of about new a couple restaurants. Things. We got Pop, pop Stroke. We got Pop popped Stroke. Up. Yep, that's the uh, Tiger Woods putt, putt. Putt, putt course. That's yeah. a really cool place. They got bars and stuff there. There's the main event center. That's like a big Dave and Buster's. It has bowling, laser tags, arcade games, a bar, restaurants. Really cool place right in the Tampa outlets as well. The Crate. That's one of my favorite The Crate. Spots. Yeah, the Crate Shopping Center, which is a, con a shipping container a plaza of restaurants, small shopping places. It's absolutely beautiful. They, they did murals and beautiful paintings on the whole outside of it. It has a live music that they do on the weekends there. That place is really the cool. It's cool, award winning. Man. It's, a, it's yeah. award winning. The, the uh, Tampa design. Awesome. If you guys get the opportunity to, I mean, it's not like you're going to go get a five star restaurant in the crate, but as far as environment, yes. And I do. We do business everywhere. I go all the way to Lake Nona, right? And Lake Nona has Boxy Park where they're trying to do the kind of shipping container thing. I shouldn't say trying to. They are. Crate is crushing that thing. Yeah. Crate is like, it's three, four rows of just retail and restaurants and then live music. And it's yeah, really, really, really neat and artsy. Yeah, I spend a lot of time up there. Actually, I live about 10 minutes from there. So my girlfriend and I will take the dogs on the weekend. And we did last weekend, walked around, got some food. It's really nice because they have so many different shops, but they have like a common eating area. So she got one thing. She wanted to get shake a salad. I wanted to get tasty ramen. We got our food. We sat down and ate with our dogs. It was real nice. You know what Wesley Chapel needs? What's that? Food hall. They do. Like Armature Works? Yes, they do. I don't doubt that wouldn't be coming. I don't doubt some, that either. Within some time here in the next, you know, 10 years. But they are, they are putting a Cooper's Hawk, which is a winery out of Tampa. It's yeah. absolutely amazing. They have a wine club there. It's in South Tampa, but they're now building another one in Wesley Chapel, which just kind of shows you the growth that's coming this way when they're choosing this location to put their, their winery. This is what Wesley Chapel used to look like. You see what's in front this of you? This is more like what Wesley Chapel used <laughs> Trees to be. Yeah. and big plots of land. Yeah. We're going to we enter just... back into the community and kind of, you see what it is. This is, this is exactly what we do it for right here. How this channel started is, you know, we do this service for our clients. It comes with, you know, you working with us. And once again, it's totally free. The builders pay us. But, you know, we wanted to show our clients what it looks like inside, outside the community, put the drone in the air, show you the lots that you're considering. Um, 
And so then we decided to turn it into a channel for everybody. So yep. do not hesitate to comment down below what you want to see, where you're watching from. You have to hit the like button. If you're a follower of us, if you're a client of ours and you're watching and you think it's cool, like, oh yeah, go guys. Show us by hitting the like button. You have to hit the like button for us, yeah. Anything else, big dog? Anything else coming that they need to know about? Man, there's a lot coming. Just gotta, it's gotta reach out to us. Yeah. Well, there you have it. That's that. Um, you know, next time we'll come out here, we will. Who knows? We might come to the ribbon cutting. We may go into the lagoon and do a vlog on that. How does that sound? I, I think I'm trying to get in there for sure. We got to get like a little VIP section. Yeah, that's it. All right, man. You know, I got the, me, you know I got the VIP access. I know so you already have it, right? Yeah, so just get right. us in on that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> lastly, lastly, I know we didn't speak about this. You see this sign right here? This yellow sign? You see the golf cart guy on the yellow sign? <laughs> That's one thing that's like major out here, especially when you get the three car garage, but like everything is golf cart accessible. And a lot of people, you were noticing people going to the shopping store, or to the yes. Publix, right? Yeah, on you their take golf your, yeah, people take their golf cart all around here. If you weren't leaving Wesley Chapel, Murata area, you could just take your golf cart across the Murata market, get some shopping done, come back, go to the lagoon, and you don't have to get in your car. That's what's really nice about these communities is that they're kind of like, it's like a built in like lifestyle that you can just take your you golf cart. You know what? Everywhere. I just put it together. It's a grown up villages. It's a grown up village. Where you got the golf carts. Yeah. People take their kids to school. It's via 55 golf cart. and below. It's 55. <laughs> what? Lenar has a 55 plus out here. So there literally is something there is. for everybody. Like they said there is something for everyone in this community, which is And really to put nice. this into perspective, right? For those of you who are considering Epperson and now you're looking at Murata, Epperson is how far do you think? Uh, it's across the street. So it's say from right where we are, probably four minutes. I would say four minutes, right? Yeah. So living in some of these newer phases, you will. What should I do, guys? Should I honk? Should I go around? We're gonna go around the next, right? <laughs> What's nice though is that you will have access from Murata Lagoon. You could take a golf cart to Epperson Lagoon, yep. and they, they think it's only a five dollar fee to use their lagoon. Exactly, exactly. So you can literally utilize both of the lagoons, on the, you know, depending on the day. Um, and where we're at right now is kind of halfway between the yep. two. So. That's that. I hope you all enjoyed it. Once again, hit the like button, uh, comment down below where you're watching from and what else you want to see. But yeah, until next time.